Hello everyone, welcome to RPA Learners and in this video we're going to see the designer interface in OpenRPA. So let's go ahead and see what are the different parts on the designer interface that you need to know before working with OpenRPA. So let's go ahead and open OpenRPA now and in the last video we have seen how to install OpenRPA and create our first robot in OpenRPA. Now we will see the designer interface and what are the things that you need to know before actually creating a workflow. And if you see here on the right side we have snippets and toolbox. And this is the left part of this screen is snippets and toolbar that is one part that you need to know. And the middle portion of it is the workflow part where we design our workflow. On the right hand side it is the properties panel if you click on this particular activity and you will see the different properties that are available for the prop activity on the right side on the left side we will have the tool uh, or different activities that we can use or there are a predefined snippets that you can directly use from here and this is this portion of it the designer panel and at the bottom we have other different things that you need to know first is the logging uh, when um, we are creating the workflow all those things that are logging in uh, will appear here and the workflow instances um, this is something that you need to focus more right uh, whenever you are executing something then that will be logged in the workflow instances the previous executions and Let's say if you have any failure in the previous execution that will be appear like this the state is failed and if it is completed successfully then it shows it has completed successfully and if it is failed if it, it is failed and the reason why it is failed so that you can have a look at what has happened before and then you can take the action accordingly and this is uh, one thing the workflow instances and the other thing is the output panel um, where uh, we can see the output of the activities which are happening in the workflow area what are the activities that are designed here let me show you a sample of what the logging and the execution so it is completed now we executed it if you see in the output panel we have uh, what workflow that is executed on the time and the log message which is RPA learners but if you if you see in the uh, logs it shows as the completed time and the started time as well so it is the logging from start to the end it is showing us the only output here in the output panel and the and we already seen the workflow instances right and let's close this let's minimize this right so these are the five uh, six different sections that you need to know in the designer panel of OpenRPA and the top uh, part we have how to execute it and how to record something or the elements on the screen and you can save it open a new file and the child session as well if you can initiate the child session as well we will see that further uh, while we are discussing on the other topics of OpenRPA and for the designer section and this is all and we have one more section um, that is here if you see here this is called the connection bar uh, it will show you uh, whether it is connected to the open flow if you uh, want to run it from cloud then uh, you need to have the open flow connected to it so it shows us whether it is connected or not on the nm package plugin as well so that is called the connection bar and you need to know these seven sections one is the toolbar and the snippets and the center part is the workflow part and the right side it is the properties panel and then logging panel output panel and then the workflow instances panel and the connection bar which shows us whether it is connected to open flow or not and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching